Wow, drizzle, drizzle, soft guy era. Videos are going crazy. The solar eclipse opened up a whole bunch of dudes' brains and they're like, well, I've been taking advantage of my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you have. I think it's time for a lot of men to wake up and stop being in these um, controlling narcissistic relationships. And either way, right? Like men and women. So if you're a woman and you feel like, you know, you're in a messed up relationship and, you know, this dude is not supporting or providing for you because he doesn't make $100,000 a year. There are plenty of men out there that are going to break up with you. P plenty. All of them. Every man that you date, and that's your expectation, they are all going to break up with you. You just don't know when. The woman who has discernment and is willing to show love, kind, and affection, um, you know, cook breakfast, stop by the house and, you know, help out or whatever, or, you know, stop at the store before they're coming to your house. That's the kind of woman that you want, right? And she doesn't necessarily have to pay, right? Everybody is talking about money. It's not about money. It's about respect. And if the person can't respect you, you got to let them go. And that goes for men and women. If a guy's telling you a story like, oh, at work, blah, 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 and all she's doing is making fun of you, that's your sign. Women. Real talk, and young girls that are like 19 to 25. If a guy makes fun of you in front of his friends, doesn't respect you. If he cracks jokes about you in front of your family, doesn't respect you. Same with men. If a woman tries to cut you down in front of your friends, that's the last day you should talk to that woman. And if a Let's say if a woman tries to cut you down in front of your family and try to like say, oh, he never does anything. Get her out of your life. Divorce is cheaper than a prison for the rest of your life. Real talk. So if you can't man up or if you can't woman up and put yourself at a higher standard, then you're always going to be operating in the muck. You are always going to be operating in the swamp. And that's all you're ever going to be. And I'm sorry that you're hearing it from me and you never heard it from your parents or teachers or anybody else. So respect yourself, have others around you respect you, and you will have the best life forever. You hang out with people who disrespect you, knock you down, make fun of you, call you names, make fun of the clothes that you wear. Those are haters. And a lot of people have best friends that are haters, including family members, like mothers, aunts, uncles. Look at their life. Where have they gone? Not to say that you're better, not to say that they're worse. It's just if you hold your height to a higher standard, you're never going to meet the person at the higher standard if you're just operating in the swamp all day. So this is my opinion on it. If you don't like it or if you have something, put it in the comments. That's life. I hope that you find happiness. I hope that you find love. Also, I hope my exes see this shit <laughs> because you guys are miserable without me and I know it. Bye.